we close our eyes when we meditate so that the sensation of breathing can be more prominent. Otherwise you're going to look at this, look at that, and it's hard to give full attention to the breath. So close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths, and notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Because that's what we're talking about here, not so much the air coming in and out through the nose, but the movement of energy in the body. So where do you feel that? What does it feel like? Does it feel good? It should feel good. After all, breath is the force of life. Without the breath, the mind and the body would have to go their separate ways. So you use the breath to stitch the two of them together. And when the breath is comfortable, it will have a good impact on the body and good impact on the mind. So watch it for a while. Try to be very sensitive to how it feels. And you're the one who has to decide if it feels good or not. But this will require that you not only watch it how it feels right now, but see what kind of impact it has over time. This is why we have to be mindful as we meditate. Stay with the breath. Remember to stay with the breath. But also remember what you've been doing. So that when certain results come out, you can say, oh, I did that, and this is what came about as a result. Otherwise, we go through life with connect the dots. We're aware of this little spot here and that little spot there, but we don't see what comes in between. So the mind fills in the lines. Years back, someone criticized a book that I'd written on the theory of fire they had in the time of the Buddha, saying, well, they were a bunch of peasants. They didn't have any theories about the world, theories about how things worked. Which, of course, is looking down on human beings who have a tendency to think and to speculate. Of course they had theories about fire. Think of all the Vedic priests that were worshipping fire, contemplating fire for generations, many generations. So they had certain very clear ideas about what fire was and how it came about and what it could be good for. And a lot of those ideas we realize now were just connect the dots filling in empty spaces. So even though people don't know things, it doesn't mean that they don't think about them and speculate. Look at your own mind. There's so many things in the world that you don't know, but you stitch things together. And you get along with people who stitch things together in the same way. It may not be the case that that's really what's true, but you get along well. Which is a scary thought when you think about it. So here we are. The world outside has a lot of things we're never really going to know for sure. But the Buddha mapped out what's happening in the mind, and you're here to check out to see if his map is correct. And the only way you can manage that is to be very careful as you watch, continually, as continually as possible. If you jump away, it's like watching a TV show for a while, then going and leaving the room, coming back ten minutes later. You have no idea what happened in the meantime. You can guess, but you don't really know because you went there. So in the same way, you can leave the mind and come back, and you can think you know what's, what's been going on, what's happening, but you're not really sure. So the best way to be sure is just stay here continually, watch continually, and keep in mind what you're doing, the results you're getting, both immediately and over time. This way the meditation can reveal things inside that you didn't see before, because after all, what are we looking for? Nothing far away. The solution to this cause of suffering doesn't lie in the Andromeda galaxy. We don't need the James Webb telescope to show us the end of suffering. As the Buddha said, the end of suffering is to be found here in this body. There are things that are going on right now that we're not aware of, but they're right here, right in front of us. Even things that we say are subconscious are simply very quick. They appear and then they disappear. So you want to be here to watch as continually as you can, be as observant as you can. That way you get to know the things you really need to know.